Diamond Candy. Even though I changed my name, so I shouldn't even say that anymore. Formerly known as Diamond Candy, if you are new here and if you are a loyal subscriber, thank you so much for returning again. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Today's video, as you can tell, I am in a new spot. If you haven't watched my last video, I did a housewarming vlog where I let you guys know that I moved. I'm on my own. I am flying free and I'm in an apartment now. So this is my new setup. I'm still working on it. Going to be making some changes and stuff like that. But this is why the background is different. So if you haven't watched that, make sure you watch that first. Today, I know I look crazy. <clears throat> But it's because something gotta be done. I'm just gonna, let me get comfortable because I gotta talk to y'all. Something has to be done. I'm so tired of my hair and I know this happens like every two years. I get tired of my hair and I just like hate it. I literally like hate it. I don't want to wear it out. I neglect it to the point where it starts getting worse. So I hate it even more. I wear it in slick ponytails, slick buns. I don't let it out. I don't do what I'm supposed to do. So I'm at that point right now where I need something different. So what I'm going to do is cut my hair. And I'm not going to do like a major, major big chop like I've done in the past. I just want to do something simple and I want to change the shape a little bit. I want to start trying to wear... um bangs which I don't do I usually wear my hair in either a middle part or a side part but I want to um create something where I can do like you know a little cute like the girls on Instagram be doing you know something even though this looks awful right now but I'm gonna go in and do like a diva cut type of thing where I'm just gonna be you know cutting individual curls I saw this girl on Twitter that really inspired me I'm gonna drop some photos now so freaking cute like so obsessed so that's the look that i'm going for maybe a little longer i don't want it to be that short but that's basically what i'm going for so i picked me up some shears from the beauty supply store and that's it i'm just gonna do like a rough draft and then i guess i will clean it up once i restyle my hair and wash it so let's get started guys all right so i'm actually a little bit nervous but Alas, let's get started. I'm going to start in the back of my hair. So just section. Oh, my hair's so dry. I'm an embarrassment. But at least I'm keeping it real chill. Ooh! And I'm just gonna start cutting. I'm not gonna be talking. I'm just gonna speed this process up and go for it. Do what I feel. I'm not a professional, as y'all know. I just feel comfortable doing things to my hair. If I mess it up, that's on me. And, you know, I'll sleep good at night. If somebody else messes it up, I'm going to have to go to jail. So, that's why I like to do this. I like to do it myself. And I don't have any problems with it. But if you want to go to a professional, if you have any anxiety or you get really nervous or anything like that, then I suggest that, you know, you don't do it. You go to a professional. But me, I feel like I can handle it. So, let's get started. wanna do is gas me how we end up in the backseat just trying to get to the bag we on the same page you the same way only keep the fam around me so let me know what it's gonna be i don't plan on getting no sleep go out we doing our thing moving too fast candy paint with the windows all black seats creme brulee what they gon' say With the top down Screaming money in it They be me up till six in the morning When the sunrise will be on it Oh, I got five You all so alive Tell me when to go Baby, when we gon' slide Baby, when we gon' slide Hey Up all night Baby, when we gon' slide Oh, hey, hey Baby, when we gon' slide On the run, nothing matters when we one on one. Looking at us, cause we going dumb. We on the same wave, you the same way. You know, I'll be down if it's with you. Where we going, baby? What's the move? We should take a trip up to the moon. Get on, doing our thing, moving too fast. Candy paint with the windows all black, seats creme brulee. What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money, anything. We up till six in the morning. When the sunrise will be on it. Oh, I got five, and all so alive. Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide, baby, when we gon' slide. Up all night, baby, when we gon' slide. So this is what I have 
so far. I think this is a good stopping point. So now I'm going to go wash my hair, do my regular wash day routine, refresh my style, and then come back and show you guys what it looks like. And then probably do some, you know, cleaning up just a little snip snip here and there to, um, you know, finish it off. So, yeah, I'm excited so far. What y'all think? Alright guys, I am back and my hair is cut. This is about how much hair I ended up cutting off. You can definitely achieve a similar shape without cutting off as much as I did. But I personally like my hair shorter. I wanted it to be shorter. My ends were kind of dead. It just wasn't doing it for me. So I did intentionally go shorter. But if you want the shape without losing so much length, you can also do that as well. But like I said, I personally wanted my hair shorter. I wasn't feeling it. When I started wearing my hair in buns and slick back ponytails weeks after weeks after weeks, I'm not feeling the curls and it's you know it's just not for me so that's when I decided to cut my hair or color or do something different when I get tired of it so that was just my personal decision I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually not gonna do any more cutting because what I did was when I went in and washed my hair I conditioned it and I put my hair into four twists and just like on the end of the twist you can kind of tell which pieces didn't really you know get cut which pieces are like you know straggly and just like hanging there so I just snipped those pieces off and then for the most part my shape was good this is actually day two hair so I did do like a little 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 snipping but I didn't want to do too much because you don't want to continue to snip 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 at your hair because it's never going to be completely the same like for me I'll wash my hair I'll put my products in and I'll style it and I'll stretch it so depending on how I stretch it it might look different on different days so what I decided to do was just go in with the blow dryer and create the exact shape that I wanted. I didn't rely on the scissors. I made sure that I relied on other things because I knew for the most part the shape was what I wanted from the first time that I cut it. So I just got the straggly ends off, styled my hair, and you know, you know, did my little thing with my blow dryer and styled it the way that I wanted to. I've styled it in the front and I can show you guys that with the little bangs. That's still growing on me. So I pulled it to the side. This is like, I think it's really cute. My hair looks so much more healthy. Literally so much more healthy. Like it makes a world's difference when I cut my hair. My curls are just so much different. Like I said, this is day two, day three hair. And it's a little frizzy, but I like big hair. So I just fluff my hair to death and I've been messing with it because it's still new and it's still fresh. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have been thinking about cutting your own hair and you feel comfortable to do it, I um, suggest that you do it just at your own at your own risk. But for me, it usually comes out decent. You know, it's not too, too, too bad. And if anything, you can always go to a professional for them to fix it. But I personally um, am comfortable with short hair and I know I just love it so much. Doing my thing, moving too fast, candy paint, we're doing those all black seats, creme brulee, what they gon' say, with the top down, screaming money, anything.